Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona and today's class is an active, full body, all round vinyasa flow class to build strength as well as flexibility in equal parts. We'll work on mobilising the hips, working the legs, the upper body and the abdominal core. I hope you enjoy, thanks for joining, Namaste. And begin your practice in a comfortable cross-legged seat. You can use a blanket, a block or a cushion there to comfortably support your hips and your pelvis. So you can sit upright through your torso elegantly long. And just settle in. Let the crown of your head reach for the ceiling. And bring your chin parallel with the floor, gently closing your eyes. And settling your gaze to a single focal point. Just giving your brain a static point of reference so you can make any subtle adjustments and find your equilibrium here. And without adjusting or influencing your breath in any way, just begin to cultivate a steady and intimate quality of attention. Quieting the mind, focusing your attention. Belly rising and falling with your breath. Simply noticing the feeling tone of your natural, spontaneous breath. Sensing which nostril feels more open, receptive to each breath. Beginning to build your capacity to observe and notice all that feels present for you as you begin your practice. And when you can watch your breath and relax it, you'll find your concentration starts to sharpen. And you're able to meet distractions with less reactivity. Now begin to deepen your breath. Expanding your breath in all directions so you feel a fullness of your breath around your rib cage, the armpits, the chest and your back. And if it feels natural for you, just start to implement your ujjayi breath. Breathing steady. So your breath feels and sounds audibly hollow. And the quality and the volume of your breath is smooth and balanced. And finally, setting an intention for your practice this morning or this evening to honour and accommodate your own range of motion and find your own sweet balance between focus, your effort and also letting go so your practice nourishes you in the best possible way. And taking two more smooth breaths in and out. As you feel yourself breathe out, drop your head toward your hard eyes to the back of your eyelids. Gently blink the eyes open and unravel your legs. Out in front of you, take your feet to the edges of your mat so they're wide apart. Lean back into the palms of your hands so your fingertips point toward the top edge of your mat. We'll just start with a few mobility drills for the hips to open and brighten. 
So as you lean into your hands, lift your chest and just wipe the knees over to your left. And you can encourage your right knee down a little closer toward the floor there. Mild twist through the spine. Gentle opening through the front of your right thigh. Deep breath in. As you exhale, lift the knees and wipe the knees over to your right. Settling your left knee down toward the floor. Keeping the chest upright. Equal pressure into both the hands, perimeter of the fingers. And then bring the knees up and wipe them back over to your left side. This time lean into your left hand, rotate your torso to the left. Lift the hips so you stand on your shins and reach your right arm up and overhead. Just stretching out through the right side of your body. And then just float the hips down, shift over to the right side, right hand down, left arm lifts, your hips lift, lightly projecting them forward. And we'll go one more each side, left hand down, lift the hips and keep it that nice mellow feeling around the neck, eyes can be down and over to your right side, left arm up and over, hips forward, push down through your shins, tops of the feet. And then coming back down, sit the buttocks down and cross your legs in front of you, walking over your legs to make your way into child's pose at the back of your man. Taking the knees just a little wider than your hips, letting the big toes touch and walk your hands forward, extending your torso between your thighs. And resting your forehead down, softening your belly and letting your breath travel into the back of your lungs from the bottom of your spine all the way into your upper back. So you feel your back lightly dome as you breathe in. Your belly soften as you breathe out. And this is your rest pose if you need to take a break or do less any time during the class. Return to this posture and join back in the flow whenever you're ready. And from here we'll take a variation on child's pose to bring some mobility and suppleness to our shoulders. Just remember to stay in your own range of motion. We're just going to lift up a little way, keep the left hand on the floor, swim your right arm back, think freestyle. Take a big circle and swim the right hand forward to the floor, buttocks back toward your heels and then lift up a little way, keep the right hand on the floor, swim your left arm back, overhead and forward, buttocks sit back on your heels as you rest and then just switch sides alternating left and right. Circles might be quite large and exaggerated, you might like to keep those circles quite small. And wherever you're at, let the movement feel easeful, like you're just warming your shoulders up here. We'll do one more each side. And then pressing up onto all fours, you can slide your hands underneath your shoulders now. Spread again all your fingers, anchor your hands down, knees are underneath your hips. And then go ahead, tuck your toes and raise your knees to just a hover above the floor. Take a deep breath in, firm your belly. And as you exhale, tap the knees down and we'll alternate between the two, lifting the knees just a little way and then tapping them down. And concentrate on drawing your hip points toward one another so you firm in the midsection of your body really pushing down through your hands so you have an upward energy through the arms. Chest stays nice and open and just notice if your head is nodding forward, see if you can lengthen through the back of your neck so the gaze stays lightly forward. Next time your knees are hovering just hold here for about five breaths. Keep pushing into the hands so you make more space between the floor and your collarbones. And then release knees down and come to kneel, just setting the buttocks back on your heels 
and sit upright and if your knees don't like deep flexion just raise the hips so you're just standing on your shins there we're going to roll out the wrists bring your hands into prayer and then just point the fingertips forward and roll the wrists so back of the hands come to touch and then you return to centre, just rolling, warming up through the wrists. And then roll it back the other way. And then return to your child's pose, extending your arms forward. Little fingers can touch the edges of the mat there. And bring your buttocks back toward your heels so you feel elongated through the sides of your waist. Just here to transition, finding that optimal distance between our hands and our feet. Full reach out through your arms and then glide up onto all fours. Tuck your toes and make your way into downward facing dog. We're going to keep a bend in our knees here and that could be quite deep for you or just a little micro bend. And keep pushing down through your hands, step your toes together. And we'll bring some warmth into the front of our thighs and stretch out through the back of our legs. So with your knees deeply bent, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, work towards straightening your right leg, reaching your right heel for the floor and just linger there for an extra breath. And then two bent knees, chest toward your thighs. And same thing, left side, extending through your left heel. Try and keep balanced weight in both your hands. And then we'll alternate, we'll pick up the pace. Both knees bend, right heel down toward the floor. Both knees bend, left heel down toward the floor. And then move at your own pace. Find the cadence to your breath that supports your movement. And keep the bend in your knees quite deep when you return to centre. Keep floating the hips up toward the ceiling, your arms straight and strong. And we'll do three more each side. Last round. And go ahead, straighten both legs down. Step the feet a little wider there. And find your downward facing dog. Should feel a little warm through the top of your thighs there. Let the kneecaps lift and engage your quad muscles. Hollow your belly. And let the muscles around the sides of your neck, the back of your neck, the front of your throat relax. And take one more full cycle of breath. As you breathe out, light bend in the knees there. Look forward to the top edge of your mat and walk yourself forward, setting your feet up hip distance apart. Take an easy forward fold here and you might like to just angle your heels very lightly out there. Keep a micro bend in the knees. Catch opposite elbows. And let your spine cascade down, crown of the head points down toward the floor. And shifting around through the soles of your feet so you, your toes feel spread, your weight feels even through all four corners of your feet. And then releasing your hands to the floor, hang your arms in a dangle. And with a bigger bend in the knees, lightly roll up through your spine. Bring your head, neck and shoulders up last. And then reach the arms up overhead. Stretch your whole body out. Reach tall. And then rest your hands to your heart centre. And we'll begin with two half forward folds to set the pace and rhythm of our breath for the rest of our practice. Take a deep breath in. Sweep your arms up and overhead. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, arms out wide, swan dive forward. Deep bend in the knees as you fold. Breathe in, give yourself lots of space, hands to the shins, flat back, straight legs. 
Exhale, softly bend the knees and fold in. Rise on your in-breath, sweep your arms out, then up, gaze up to the tip of your thumbs. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Breathing in, arms overhead. Breathing out, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, refold over your legs, Uttanasana. Rise on your in-breath, strong, straight legs, reach tall. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Now letting your breath lead your movement as we move through a variation on our sun salutes. Link your thumbs here, space your fingers, take a big arch up and back. As you exhale, sweep your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, forward fold over the legs, light bend in the knees. Stay for an extra breath, smoothly breathing in. Exhale. Release the hands to your shins, take a halfway lift, enjoy the space across your chest. And then fingertips down, lunge your right leg back for runner's lunge. Take a long stride, keep lifting your right thigh up in space. Breathe in, open your chest. On your out breath, plant the hands, step quietly back, downward facing dog. As you breathe in, ripple forward to a high push up, long and strong in your body, looking forward. Exhale, knees, your chest and chin to the floor. Setting up for Sphinx Pose, slide your forearms forward, shoulder width apart. Draw your chest forward through the gateway of your arms, mild arch through the spine, legs stay strong. Exhale, melt down to the floor, slide the hands back underneath the shoulders, push back up, all fours. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out, empty the lungs. Toes step together, raise your right leg up and back as you breathe in. Step your right foot forward, runner's lunge on your out breath, keeping the left thigh lifting in space. Deep breath in, exhale, step forward, feet hip width apart. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Forward fold on your out breath, close to your legs, drop your head. Reach your arms out and up, sweep your arms overhead, gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Second side, we'll link our thumbs, space the fingers, arch up and back on your inhale. Hands behind the back, interweave the fingers, bend in the knees, forward fold. Stay for an extra breath. You might like to lift the shoulder heads up away from the mount. Release your hands to your shins. Halfway lift, look forward. Fingertips down, lunge your left foot back, runner's lunge. Stay for your in-breath, long through your torso. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Ripple forward, high push up on your in-breath. Keep the gaze forward. Exhale, knees, chest, chin to the floor to set up for cobra pose. Very little pressure in the hands. Keep the elbows brushing the side ribs, arcing up. Exhale, melt down to the floor, press back, all fours. Downward facing dog on a long out breath. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Keep the cadence to your breath, nice and calibrated. Toes step together, left leg rising, breathe in. Left foot forward, runner's lunge as you breathe out. Right leg stays straight and strong, deep breath in. Exhale, step forward to the top edge of your mat. Feet stay hip width. Take your halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Extend through the front of your spine. Exhale and forward fold. Rise on your in-breath, arms sweep out and up overhead. Exhale, hands to your heart center. A lateral stretch now, we'll keep it moving, arms overhead, breathe in. Drop your left hand down by your side waist, take your right arm up and over to your left. Let the hips sink out to the right side. 
with a strong core come all the way back up reach your arms overhead and we'll take it over to the other side right arm drops down left arm over to your right inhale back to center arms reach forward fold over your legs inhale Ardha Uttanasana on your exhale fingertips down right leg lunging back for low lunge right knee softly down to the floor reach your arms when you steady breathe in stay for your out breath reach a little taller with your arms your fingertips breathe in exhale hands to the floor step back your high push-up breathe in long and strong in the body and either a full push-up or knees chest chin will come down to the earth for locust pose arms alongside your body palms face down when you feel yourself breathe in lift the chest your legs your arms and expand across your chest as you exhale melt to the floor hands by your ribs push back up all fours downward facing dog as you breathe out deep breath in full breath out step the toes together raise your right leg up and back as you breathe in lightly step forward right foot in between your hands left knee touching down when you're ready when you're steady arms rise breathe in left glutes engaged exhale hands to the floor step forward bring your feet hip distance apart Ardha Uttanasana breathe and extend forward fold empty your lungs drop your head rise on your in breath breathe in hands to your heart breathe out again a lateral stretch arms overhead breathe in this time right hand drops down by your side waist left arm over to your right strong firm abdominal core inhale back to center exhale drop your left arm down right arm up and over keep your belly button pointing out inhale back to center arms overhead forward fold over your legs on your out breath inhale halfway lift breathe in exhale fingertips down left foot lunging back low lunge left knee softly down arms rise on your in breath hands to the floor on your out breath stepping back high push up breathe in either knees chest chin take any variation you like for your back bend or move into your upward facing dog drawing the chest forward through the gateway of your arms pressing into the hands legs strong exhale downward facing dog smoothly breathe your body toes together left leg rising breathe in left foot forward right knee lightly down low lunge arms reach breathe in hands to the floor breathe out stepping forward halfway lift breathe in forward fold breathe out rise to stand hands to your heart soften your shoulders pause for a moment breathe up toward your thumbs down toward your belly next breath in sweep your arms up overhead dive forward over your legs Uttanasana inhale Ardha Uttanasana perhaps staying on the fingertips there exhale lunge your right leg back and we'll find a high lunge take your time to arrive just making sure your feet are hip width apart hands can come to your hips as you start or if you're feeling steady arms up alongside your ears strongly engage your right leg so your pelvis stays buoyant and steer your gaze to a steady fixed focal point just to hold your balance find your equilibrium and we'll move through a flow here first round nice and slow so hands could be at your hips or alongside your ears if you're feeling steady deep breath in exhale lower and hover your right knee just above the floor 
Push down through your front heel, come back to your high lunge. Right leg straightens. And keeping your arms alongside your ears, now tip forward. So you hover right above your front thigh, your arms are reaching forward, right heels reaching back. Deep breath in. Stay here, but just cactus your arms. Bring your elbows back at the height of the shoulders. Lift your inner elbows, your palms up away from the floor. Feel your upper back engage. Reach the arms forward as you breathe in. And return to your high lunge, lifting your torso, firming your belly. And we'll do that twice more with your breath. Keep the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, lower and hover your right knee. Move slow, inhale, back to high lunge, right leg straightens. Exhale, tip forward from your hips, firm the belly. Cactus your arms. Reach the arms straight alongside your ears. Return to your high lunge, bring your torso upright. One more time, keep the arms up, lower your back knee to a hover. Inhale, straighten your right leg. Exhale, tip forward. Inhale, cactus the arms. Reach the arms forward. Back to your high lunge, breathe in. We're transitioning warrior two now. Drop and anchor your right heel, open out. Torso pointing toward the long edge of your mat, arms level with the floor. Just making sure your left knee's tracking forward in line with your left toes. Find a light stretch through the inner thighs toward your knees. Soft energy around the shoulders. Keep the gaze steady. Lunge just a little deeper here. As you inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach up and back. Left arm up, overhead. Straighten your front leg and make your way into a triangle pose. So we'll move slow here. Reach out over the midline of your left leg and touching down, left hand perhaps just below your uh, knee there on your shin. Right hand straight up toward the ceiling. And then now just press down through the ball of your left big toe to encourage your shin to face forward and then get the feeling you're pressing your shin into your hand so you don't lock your left knee out. Firmly engage your right leg, push the feet into the floor and give everything a little bit of length and space, perhaps turning the gaze up toward your right thumb. Stay for another two breaths. Quads engage. Send the right arm overhead, little light bend in your left knee. Land the hands and either take a break, you can step back to downward facing dog or take a flow high to low push up. Any back bend of your choice that we have cycled through, and return to your downward facing dog. And take a moment to rest, recalibrate, reset. And this may mean that you take your knees to the floor, buttocks to the heels. You might like to just close your eyes and reconnect with your breath. We're here for about eight more breaths. Smoothing the rhythm of your breath, dropping anchors into your hands, into your heels. Returning to your downward dog if you have been in rest pose, child's pose. Light bend in the knees, gaze forward and either step or lightly hop forward and bring yourself to the top edge of your man. Deep breath in, lift up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale and forward fold over your legs. Take your time and unhurry breath, rise to stand. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. Feel your thumbs touch your sternum, breathe toward your thumbs. Empty your breath and find your best posture, tailbone lengthening down, crown of the head up toward the ceiling. Second round coming up, 
Deep breath in, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, looking forward. As you exhale, fingertips down, lunge your left leg back. Find your high lunge. So there's no rush here and ideally your feet are hip distance apart. Both toes point, all the toes point forward. You're just rising up in your own time. Hands can be at your hips. You might like to take your arms a little higher. And as you take your arms higher, you've got a higher center of gravity and that always makes balancing and finding equilibrium a little bit more challenging. So just keeping that in mind if you start to get wobbly. First round, nice and slow, deep breath in. As you exhale, left knee lowers to a hover just above the mat. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, tip your torso forward from your hips. Reach the arms forward, hover over your right thigh. Stay here parallel with the floor, cactus the arms. So really want to feel your upper back muscles working here so the inner elbows lift. And then reach your arms straight and forward. Return to your high lunge, pressing down through your front heel. It will help keep you balanced as well. And we'll just move with our breath. Keep the arms up, deep breath in. Exhale, lower and hover your back knee. Inhale, straighten the left leg. Exhale, tip forward with a firm belly. So you're trying to bring the navel up away from your front thigh. Cactus the arms. Reach the arms alongside your ears. Keep the arms lifting and then return to your high lunge. Once more in your own time. Tipping forward. Elbows back at the height of your shoulders. Reach forward. So your arms are really working here. Legs are working. Come on back up. High lunge and you're transitioning into warrior two. Just let that left sole of the foot land. Find your steadiness. And just take a little peek down at your right knee. Make sure the eyes of your right kneecap are pointing forward. Right foot's at 12 o'clock. Torso straight up and down here. Try and settle in with a little bit of ease. So nothing is rigid in your body. You're finding a breadth across your chest through the reach of your arms. Back arm, front arm engaged, legs engaged. Lunge just a little deeper, stay with me. Inhale, reverse, big stretch coming up. Straightening your front leg and preparing for triangle. So just mindfully moving in space, right hand down to your right shin bone, left arm straight up toward the ceiling. And oftentimes our head nods forward here. So see if you can just line the back of your skull in line with the rest of your spine. So your chin lightly in, back of your skull, reaching forward toward the front of the room and then press your shin, it's a very subtle, <clears throat> subtle cue, press your shin into your right hand so you're not locking your right knee out. Back leg firmly engaged, just enjoy the stretch, enjoy your breath. Find ease. Find the pockets in your body where you can be a little softer so you can improve the quality of your breath. Keep pushing the floor away with your feet, not here for long. Take the left arm overhead, reach out. Eyes down, bend in the front knee. Either take a vinyasa here or step quietly back to downward facing dog and we'll meet you up there. There's no rush. So you're not moving your space, you're moving your body in space arbitrarily. You're just moving mindfully with your breath. Letting your breath lead your movement. And then just pause in downward facing dog or a child's pose. Regulating your breath so it returns to a smooth rhythm. And what's helpful here is really emptying your lungs. If you've got a sigh, let it out of your mouth. 
but really feel your belly muscles engage at the end of your out breath. So you're kind of pushing all the air out of your lungs, making room for a fresh breath. Two more breaths. End of your exhale, gaze forward between your hands. Light bend in the knees, step or lightly, float forward, top edge of the mat. Toes come to touch, halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold on your out breath. Rise to stand, stack your vertebrae, reach tall. Exhale, hands to your heart, thumbs to your sternum, breathe up toward your thumbs, feel your chest rise. And then soften, relax into your posture. Big deep breath in, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Ardha Uttanasana, breathe in, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back, find your high lunge. We're going to go through that sequence just once though. Arms rise, high lunge. Exhale, lower and hover your right knee. Inhale, lift up, right leg straightens. Exhale, tip forward. Cactus your arms, breathe in. Reach your arms forward alongside your ears. Return to your high lunge, breathe in. Open out, warrior two, breathe out. Pause for just a moment. We're going to move through a hip opener. Hopefully not too complicated. It's a lovely inner thigh stretch. So keeping your arms level with the floor, go ahead, bend your right leg, the back leg, straighten your left leg and come onto the heel of your left foot, pointing the toes up toward the ceiling. Now tip your torso forward, keeping the arms out wide. You should feel a stretch through the inner left thigh. Then really slowly return to your warrior two and just make sure you track your left knee forward, back leg goes straight. And we'll do that twice more with your breath. So your shape might be quite different from my shape. You might be able to come down a whole lot more deeper <laughs> if you've got more open hips. Or you might make that movement quite subtle. And it's quite okay to move slow here and really concentrate on your alignment when you return to warrior two. Last one. And then find your warrior two, really stamp your feet down, reverse your warrior as you breathe in. And we all the hands to the floor, either taking a flow or a step quietly back, downward facing dog. Moving through your high to low push up, back bend of your choice, downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. Arms straight and strong, equal effort through the arms and the legs. Take a deep breath in, look forward. End of your exhale, step or lightly hop forward, top edge of your mat, second side coming up. Deep breath in, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Rise slow to stand. Reach the arms, send the gaze up. Exhale, hands to your heart centre. Breathe in, circle your arms overhead, gaze up, tip of the thumbs. Exhale, swan dive forward over your legs. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, breathing in. Exhale, lunge your left leg back, high lunge. Reach the arms alongside your ears or keep your hands at your hips, your variation, modification. Lower your left knee down, hover it right above the floor. Inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, tip forward. Belly strong. Cactus the arms. Reach the arms forward. Return to your high lunge. Press down through that front heel. Open our warrior two and pause just for a moment. Get the optimal distance between your heel and the arch of your back foot. So you feel like you're 
in a long enough stride so your legs are working for you but it doesn't feel like there's over effort in your body so that's going to be revealed in your breath and just by recognizing the signal of your breath you know your mind better and you'll know how to modify and ease off if you need to in the most honest and direct way so from here we'll move into that hip stretch here so move slow you're going to bend the left knee straighten the right leg and come onto the heel of the right foot pointing the toes up then take the torso forward your arms stay out wide and then you return really slow warrior two sole of the right foot lands left leg straightens and then do that twice more in your own time remembering to just honor your own range of motion and let the movement feel helpful so just trying to create a little bit more suppleness in the hips we're still working our upper body here and we'll all return to warrior two Take a deeper lunge and then reverse your warrior as you breathe in. Wimmel the hands to the floor and step back, plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga, your low push up. Back bend of your choice and just linger there, savor your breath. Open the front of your chest. Returning to your downward facing dog when you're ready. And then from here, we're just going to take a brief pit stop in child's pose before we transition to our abdominal work. Stay with me. <laughs> Knees down to the floor, buttocks to the heels and any comfortable position for your arms. They might like to reach forward. You can take your hands back by your feet. Just anywhere where you can really relax and let go of all the effort in your shoulders and your body belly can relax so next sequence uh, we'll move through some upper body work and also some abdominal work and part of uh, one of the sequences is all about technique so so don't get too discouraged if it doesn't quite work for you or you just go, how do I do that? <laughs> because uh, it'll fall into place when, um, when uh, you next do it or maybe this time. Hopefully I can explain it well. <laughs> all right, we're going to start with uh, something familiar. We're going to glide up onto all fours and make our way into a forearm plank. If you're still working on your upper body and core strength, Feel free to alternate between taking the knees to the floor and straightening the legs for this sequence. If you're feeling strong, you're setting your elbows up, shoulder width apart, palms are face down, forearms down, gaze is forward. Push the floor away with your inner elbows and we're going to raise the left leg up and back. So just a little bit. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull your left knee in and pike your hips a little, a little bit like core lunge in the air. And then inhale, extend your left leg. So you're in a three point forearm plank and then repeat. So you're piking your hips, left knee draws in and then extending, returning to bring yourself parallel with the floor. And we've just got three more. Keep pushing down through your forearms. So you feel really strong in the shoulders there. And then return to your forearm plank, both feet down and raise your right leg up and back. Just remember you can modify it at any time. Knee in toward your chest, pike the hip slightly and then extend it back. And just repeat that sequence. Just three more folks. Stay with me, nice firm belly. As you bring the knee in, your ribs close a little closer toward the hips. Two straight legs, two feet on the floor, and then knees down to the floor, buttocks to the heels. We'll pause momentarily, child's pose. Forearms can rest down on the floor. Gliding up onto all fours from here and come down onto your right side hip. So you're facing the long edge of your mat. 
Draw a straight line through your whole body, legs engaged. Extend your left arm overhead. And as you breathe in, roll back and lift both legs and reach your left hand for your toes. As you exhale, send your left arm back out overhead and lower your legs. And we'll do that a few more times, raising the legs, try and keep them really strong as you lift up and try and press down through your shoulder so you can stay lifted through your upper body as you move. And if it's not quite working for you, not to worry. <laughs> This one is more about that technique. You've got to kind of roll back and lift the legs at the same time. We've got two more to go. Well done, this one's challenging. And then from here, we'll move on to our left side for the same sequence. So propping yourself onto your left hand, left elbow, really straight through the body so your tailbone's lengthening toward your heels and really strong straight legs right arm reaches overhead and as you inhale roll back raise the legs as high as you can reach your hand for your toes and then return to your starting position and repeat so you're working your side oblique muscles your upper body Just do your best. Last few here. Rest coming up. Last one. And release. And then we're going to make our way onto our backs from here. So just shifting yourself to the middle of your mat, laying down, torso in a straight line. Bend at the knees and feet to the floor to set up for a bridge flow, which should feel really nice through the front of your body, no over effort. So feet are hip distance apart. And if you feel any pressure in the front of your knees here in bridge pose, it's quite all right to turn your toes just a little bit out, just a smidge and widen your feet away from one another. So you stay comfortable. Otherwise, your feet are parallel, heels are quite close to your buttocks, arms alongside your body, chin lightly in toward your chest. And as you breathe in, lift the hips and raise the right arm overhead and gently turn the gaze to your left. And just linger here, relaxing your neck, extending your thighs away from your pelvis and at the same time, isometrically drawing your heels toward your buttocks so your glutes base of the glutes and hammies are engaged and then as you breathe out just lower your right arm down lower your hips and return your gaze toward the ceiling as you breathe in left arm overhead gently lifting the hips and turning your gaze to your right and just linger for a couple of breaths your neck relaxed expression soft find the work in the legs so the front of the pelvis down toward your hamstrings so the front body becomes available to open and lengthen and then on your out breath return your left hand down lower the hips gaze toward the ceiling and we'll do that once more each side right arm up overhead hips lift gaze turns left and then lower the hips lower your right arm and then left arm overhead, lift the hips and turn the gaze to the right. Remember you're cooling down here, so nice easeful movement. And lower all the way down. And then keeping your arms alongside your body, keep stamping your feet into the mat, take a deep breath in. Exhale, lift the hips into a traditional bridge pose. So keep gazing down the front of your chest. See your breath move through your ribs. And you might like to either take your fingertips around the edges of your mat just to give yourself a little bit more lift and to be able to draw the shoulder blades in toward each other, toward the midline. 
or interlace your fingers underneath your buttocks. Base of the glutes engaged. Smooth breath in and exhale, release all the way down. And from here, moving into a hip groin stretch reclined, take your right ankle across the top of your left thigh, just above your knee there, flexing at the toes, giving your head resting back, thread your hands behind the back of your left hamstring, and just draw the left knee in toward you, letting your right thigh open. And feeling sensations move into the outer right glutes, buttocks muscles. Notice if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more. Notice if you can relax your shoulders a little bit more. And then stepping your left foot down to the floor. Find your right toes and thread them now underneath your left leg toward your left sit bone. Left hand catches your toes and your right knee relaxes down toward the floor for a quad stretch. Your head can rest back down and take a few deep breaths in and out here. and release both feet back to the floor, knees bent and switching sides for your reclined hip groin stretch, left ankle, top of the right thigh, toes flexed and gather your hands interlace behind the back of your right hamstring. So you're very gently drawing your right knee back toward you with a little bit of resistance into the hands with the leg. Encouraging your left outer hip to open. And we went full circle around the hips today through our practice, which is really a great way to ease back pain and give you a more agile gait and also improves the circulation in, uh, in your legs, lower part of your body. And we'll release from here to take your quad stretch, you're gonna thread the left foot toward your right sit bone and right hand's hand comes to touch your toes and you relax your left knee down toward the floor. Just pause and linger for a few calm breaths. One more deep breath in and exhale to release and you may wish here to shift straight into Shavasana extending your legs out straight and your arms alongside your body palms face up or you may like to roll to one side and come to sit to complete your practice in seated meditation Whatever shape feels the most comfortable, the most restorative for you. And taking any props, extra layers for your body to make yourself feel completely comfortable. Aligning your spine into a straight line and relaxing your eyes closed. And let your breath create your focus here.
And just simply by practicing breath awareness throughout your practice and here in your rest pose, you're strengthening your capacity for attention. It naturally cultivates calm, enhances your inner resilience, mental flexibility. So just by accumulating your awareness on your breath, your body will naturally relax and let go. Crowd out any other thoughts other than the simple flow of your breath, natural, spontaneous, peaceful. Breathing in and breathing out. And if your mind wanders here and thoughts come to disturb you, just simply notice the thought as it enters your awareness as neutrally as possible. Then just return to the simplicity of your breath. You can always use your breath as a refocusing tool. It's bringing you back to the present moment. And very, very slowly drawing your awareness back. And letting your ears catch the sounds around you. Invite your breath to deepen and fill your whole body. You're wriggling the fingers, your toes, waking your body up physically. And if you're laying back there, bending the knees, taking your feet to the floor, and rolling gently over to your right side, letting your eyes open, adjust to the light in the room, and then dragging yourself all the way back up to sit. Namaste.